Making the vertical beam is really easy. You just need a ruler, a ballpoint pen, and some scotch tape. All you do is you take your template and you put your pen on one of the dotted lines. Then you slide your ruler up to the up to the line, line it up, and just score once this way and once that way. That's all that you have to do. And it's really fast. Just one, two. Make sure you're pushing down pretty firmly and make sure you're using a ballpoint pen. That makes it so that when you fold your beam, you get a really straight line. And as you can see, it's pretty quick once you get the hang of it. I'm also using a sheet underneath the paper, and what that does is that allows the ballpoint pen to make a nice groove in the template. Okay, so now I've I've scored all the lines except for the center line which I'm going to cut. After you score your lines, you just make your cuts. So since this is a vertical beam, you're only going to have cuts here and one up the middle because it makes two beams. So you just take your scissors and you just make simple cuts up to the line. Just like this. Okay. And then you just cut it in half because this template makes two beams. I also use colored paper for the different beams so that I know which beam is which. So now we're going to fold. And all you do is you lay your beam down flat and then you just fold to the score line and then fold to the score line and you just make those four folds. Now with four folds you're going to have five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And all you do is you just fold it over and that creates the overlap. Once you have the overlap, you just hold it in place with one hand, take a piece of tape, and just tape it shut. And you switch sides, take a piece of tape, and you tape it shut. And then I usually put a piece in the middle and then you have your nice beam, your nice vertical beam, okay? If you want to have the lettering out, all you do is flip it over. And I have put nice little labels on here so that you know which beam is which, so that when you're dealing with long beams and short beams. So all you do is fold it over like this. You just fold it backwards with the print out. And what it'll do is it will create a beam for you that has the writing on the outside so that you know which beam is which. Okay? But if you want a nice clean look, you just fold it with the writing in and you just remember which color is which beam.